So it's the next day. I didn't vlog yet much yesterday, but that's because it was really exciting. So as you saw, I had hiked four miles to Dragon's Tooth and I met Cody on the summit of Dragon's Tooth because he had parked his car north of it and then started hiking south. So we were able to meet at the summit, which was super fun. We hung out there for a while and that was one of our favorite spots on the trail last time. So it's it was nice to reminisce up there. And then we did the couple miles down off of Dragon's Tooth back to his car. We went straight to the Three Little Pigs barbecue in Daleville, which we've been to before. So that was fun. Some other through hikers were there too. And then right in the same plaza was a gear shop. And I needed, well, I didn't need, but I did buy a new water filter because mine was slowing down a little bit. And I also got a new bandana because mine hanging off the side of my pack was pulling apart and it was it was falling apart so I replaced that from there we went and got a room at the Hampton Inn so that's where I am right now treating myself a little bit while he's here and then shortly after we got here my mom and her sister came and visited and so it's a full house so I got three visitors for the next four days and it's gonna be really fun and then once we all got together, we went out to dinner, a little sports bar, watched the Bruins win, which was exciting, and then came back here. Unfortunately, this Hampton Inn does not have laundry, so we had to drive a mile down the road to a laundromat, wash all my clothes, because it's been about a week, so it was about time. And then while the laundry was going, went to McDonald's, got everyone ice cream, and then, called it a night, did a little tiny resupply at CVS. It's a couple things I needed. Um, but then, yeah, now you're all caught up. And we're planning on hiking today, but you'll see that in tomorrow's video. Cody's gonna be out doing the whole section with me. So that will be fun and I'll see you then. Bye. Good morning. Back on the Appalachian Trail. We stopped at Dunks on the way here. Got a big breakfast at the Hampton Inn. And it's going to be a really good day. <laughs> I have a feeling. So we're hiking six miles and then we'll be at the McAfee Knob parking lot. And I gave my mom and her sister coordinates to meet us there. I think they're going to go head to the store and maybe get a cooler of like soda and Gatorade and maybe hand out some trail magic if hikers go by. I'm out of breath already. <laughs> Are you out of breath? Yeah. You haven't hiked in a while. <laughs> so yeah, maybe a quick 5.8 miles and then take a break and then it's McAfee Knob Day. Like that's one of the most iconic spots in the whole AT. I'm in it, fresh ground snow in it. These guys are hungry. Do not spill the dunks. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> right here we have a little view of Dragon's Tooth, which we did yesterday. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, look at that rock! You can see it. Is there anyone up there? I can't tell. <laughs> The, the side pockets on this backpack are so big that I can fit my Dunks coffee in it. Wow. Yeah. So, we just started going downhill, so now I can actually use my trekking poles. Now, there's a little less than a mile until we get to the McAfee Down parking lot, and my mom will be there, and my aunt. I'm ready for like a nice long extended break. But this hiking weather has been absolutely perfect. Sunny, not too hot, nice breeze. Like this is ideal. And of course, really good company. <laughs> it's 
so excited. <laughs> we can see the parking lot now. Show me where you signed. I just signed it again, bro. Come here. Who wants fries? It it's just two regular bratwurst. Uh, uh, stretch 21. On the ground. Cody 23. 23. There you are. That was my last time. I might I refresh that a little bit. And then they just tag team. And I met the hamster on what? Day two? Yeah. Day two. Day two. Yeah. You walked into my set. I didn't know who she was. She don't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> we made it about 30 feet from the Fresh Ground Leapfrog Cafe and we found this bench because <laughs> that's how much you eat. You get 30 feet and then like you gotta take a break. <laughs> Alright, now McAfee Knob, 3.9 miles. <laughs> Let's do this! So I knew Fresh Ground was going to be at that trailhead. We had planned this days ago, but he told me to kind of keep it a surprise for Cody and for my mom and my aunt. And so when my mom and aunt got to the parking lot and saw Fresh Ground, we weren't there, but apparently they were so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm really happy that my mom and Auntie Nancy got to experience that. I'm really happy that Cody got to experience Fresh Ground. That was really exciting because that was such a fun part of our through hike. Now we'll let this guy go. Still working on this uphill. I think we just saw a sign that McAfee Knob is 1.2 miles away. <laughs> it's a long, steady climb, but it'll be so worth it when we get to the top. Oh, a, hi a hiker did say there was a really good breeze up there, so I think that's going to feel really nice. And hopefully that means no bugs. Because I remember McAfee Knob being one of the buggiest places we saw <laughs> on the through hike last time. <laughs> Besides Maine. Maine was a whole different beast. I thought so too. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Let's take some photos. How romantic, right? <laughs> So I'm currently standing on McAfee Knob right now. This is it. When you see the picture of McAfee Knob, it looks scary, but like when you're actually standing on it, it's just, just another rock, <laughs> honestly. Um, kind of surprised that it's not super crowded, but we're gonna sit down and have some lunch. <laughs> you out of breath? This is not easy, bro. I'm not conditioned for this. I most definitely have hiker hunger at this point because I packed out a whole bratwurst from Fresh Ground and I am hungry and I'm ready to eat it. Meanwhile, Cody's like... I still can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, he's still full. But like, I'm excited to eat that. What is it, right here? I have a whole thing of nerds that I want to eat after I have my sandwich. Is it, is it, is it bratwurst a sandwich? Oh God. Is it bratwurst a sandwich? <laughs> Put your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> so, are you chilling? Bro, I'm living my best life, right? Yeah. I got some of these. I got a drink mix. Just chilling. I got my pee rag apparently. <laughs> I washed it last night, it's fine. So that right there is Tinker Cliffs, which is the third of the Virginia Triple Crown. And we'll be there later tonight and 
hopefully that is where we're gonna watch the sunset. I think that's gonna be a really good spot for it. But we gotta walk that whole ridge to get there first. All right, this was our little break spot, packing up now to head over to Tinker Cliffs. Let's hike. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's a nice shadow. <laughs> Looks like we have 4.9 miles to the next destination. You ready for it? Yeah, guys. Just had the first water break with my new Be Free filter. I forget if I mentioned it, but I did replace the filter um, for my Catadine Be Free, and the flow rate just changed drastically. It's it's night and day the difference between an old one and a used in a new one. Um, I could have gone further with my old one but having a fast flow rate is definitely a priority for me. I love the efficiency of it. <laughs> Welcome to Tinker Cliffs. The sun is strong. Look. Look at that behind us. Oh my gosh. Look at all the mountains. <gasps> Found a nice spot for the tent. Get to watch a little sunset there later. I'm using my new sleeping pad, which I didn't even realize the pump sack was kind of folded up in it. So now I get to inflate it using this. And it's going to be nice and easy. So we found a little spot for dinner. Look at that view. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna be having backpacker pantry lasagna. Do you wanna share what you're having? Yeah. So, I just discovered this brand, it's pretty cool. Um, it's called Peak uh, Refuel. I'm having the biscuits, biscuits and sausage gravy. And here's the cool part. There's 100, 1100 calories in one bag. That's incredible. That's a lot. Yeah, I will be full after this. <laughs> the sun's officially gone. Good night, sun. Good night, sun. How pretty was that sunset? It was perfect. It was. That was really nice. Beautiful. Now it's time for dinner, right? Yeah. So we tried to make dinner on this ledge, but it was entirely way too windy. So we're gonna head back into the woods where we sit up our tents and try that again. Entirely way too windy. Entirely. Hello, I'm in my tiny tent right now. So after we watched the sunset, we cooked dinner and actually went live on YouTube for a whole hour and it was really fun. So we just sat by a little fake campfire. <laughs> um, we had the red light from my headlamp facing us so it kind of looked like we were by a campfire. But it was just really fun talking to everyone on the live stream, reminiscing about the hike and people were asking some good questions and it was a good conversation. But now it cooled down a little bit. Oh, my hair looks crazy. And now it's time to get in our sleeping bags and go to bed and then hit the trail tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching this video. It was a really fun one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.